this is Anne from the Uses Crafter. So today this is a quick video. This is just to show you how uh, when you make a purchase for a digital file, uh, how to download it and upload it into Design Space. Okay, so I just bought this on Etsy. It's the 3D letters. So you'll be seeing that a lot um, coming up. But anyway, so I bought this. So what you want to do is, you know, you for any um, for any site, um, not just Etsy, you would go to your profile and I'm sure there's a, a section for purchases. So here I'm, I'm in purchases, it's ready to download. So I'm gonna download my files. So I'm gonna click on that and you can see, um, let's see, so it's telling me here, okay, now go to download. And my download is over here. I would say most of the time with these files, they come uh, zipped. So you're not going to be able to upload into Design Space until you unzip it, okay? So here's the folder. Double click on it to go in to see what is included. And I bought the whole package. So it's got letters, numbers, and as well access and signs. So I'm not going to download or upload everything at this moment because it's going to take a while, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's say we want, well, let's do one letter and one number, okay? So let's do the letters first. Let's go in and do the letter A. So each one is in a folder itself. So you now you got to double click on that. Okay, so um, there's a couple different images or uh, file types, right? We want SVG. So go into the SVG folder and let's see what it says. So there's two options. Let's look at this. What is it? There's a dash line and a single score line. Um, from uh, I've talked to a few people about this and I think the dash line is the one that's going to give us the best or the easiest method to fold. So let's do that one. So what you want to do is I'm going to grab this cut file and I'm going to move it to my desktop just so that it's now unzipped out of my zipped folder. Then I'm going to go back. So I don't want letters, let's go back. I wanna do a number now, right? So let's go back to my folder. Oops, I'm in the, okay, there. I wanna go into numbers now. And let's say I want the number five. So we're gonna double click on five. Then we're gonna to go to SVG. Then again, with the dash line, I'm just gonna move it over to my desktop, okay? All right, so now it's there. Let's go into design space. Okay, so here is a new canvas. We're going to go to upload, upload image, and browse. Now we got to remember where what we called it and where we put it. Um, for my desktop, it's easy because it's right on top. But here's my score for my number. So I'm going to double click on it. So this is the number five. You want to rename this. I would name this 3D5 just so that the next time I can find it, okay? <laughs> Save it. Then you click on it to insert image. And now it's in your project, or this is the project we're gonna work on, okay? So that's how you do that. And that's how you would do most of your images. The only thing that's different that I can think of is fonts, because fonts, once you install it, there's no uploading into Design Space. The only thing you need to do is you need to close out Design Space and then open it up again and it should be there. But let's go do our other one. So let's go to upload, let's bring in our letter A, upload image, browse, and here's our cut file for our letter A, double click on it. There it is. Let's do 3D A and hit save. And then now that's available as well. So you can click on that and insert it. But now that will always be there. So let's go to, you can go into images now. Let me move myself out of the way. Come on. Oh, there we go. Um, and remember I did it 3DA, right? So you can search it there. It should now be in here. Now, uh, you know, a ton of other files too, right? So what you can do is you can go to ownership and you know we uploaded it. So this will, and there you go. There's our 3DA and our 3D5. Um, and then you can click on it and insert it from there. 
All right, that's it. Easy peasy, right? All right, I'll see you guys next time. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. And of course, I'm always taking special requests. Just post the comment here and then also email me. That's Anne, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, thanks guys.